So, this monitor right here was sent in to me by a friend of a friend. It is the LG 34 UC 79G and uh, well, he obviously sent it in because there is something wrong with it. It won't turn on. For example, if I plug it in right here, Ooh, you can even hear the sparks. It doesn't turn on. Right. Click, 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 click. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And just as you might have heard earlier, there were sparks. And I feel that uh, this monitor, unlike my previous one, has something more to do with the motherboard on the back here. And so I am going to have to try and figure out if I can repair this. And I, I'm feeling confident. I think I can do it. So yeah. Biggest guess, something wrong with the board. I have actually taken apart this monitor before, but I'm not going to do it live for the camera because it really wasn't the easiest monitor to take apart. But if you're going to do it by yourself, you're going to want to start by removing the four screws down the back, then deal with the metric buttload of clips, just holding the back cover in place before you get to lift it off. With the back cover removed, we can see that the motherboard is hidden behind this metal housing. So in order to get that one removed, we're going to want to gently unplug the cables from the motherboard, then undo the two screws that hold it in place. A further four screws hold the motherboard onto the metal housing. And once that's off, we get a good look at the motherboard. The first thing that I'm going to do is just a quick inspection of the board to see if there's any kind of obvious signs of damage on the board. Like, you know, maybe some blown components or obvious discolorations, but I didn't notice anything particularly special or concerning, so I'm going to have to move on to more advanced tools to figure out the problem. I'm going to use my Guide Mob IR thermal camera. It plugs into the USB-C port of my mobile phone and any components that are short-circuiting or have any problems should register as a heat spot on the thermal camera. And straight off the bat, the moment that I plug the power connector into the motherboard, I am hearing quite a bit of sparks going off. And if we look at the thermal camera, we can see that there is one component in particular that is pulsing hot. You can tell which it is as it just gets hot, then cools off, then hot again, and just cools off, and it is a MOSFET. Just to be absolutely sure, I'm going to probe that MOSFET with my multimeter in continuity mode, and indeed, it is short-circuiting. The MOSFET in question is an Alpha and Omega D2922, and I went ahead and got some new ones online. I'm going to try and replace it and see if that fixes the problem. So I set my heat gun to about 450 degrees Celsius and after a few seconds of heating up the component, it comes off relatively easily. Before I solder back on the new MOSFET, I'm just going to apply some leaded solder onto these solder joints and this helps in reducing the melting temperature. Just like before with the heat gun at about 450 degrees Celsius, I heat the area up, let the solder liquefy, then press the new MOSFET in place and it should be all good. A little bit of cleanup of the area to remove the flux that I used and the moment of truth, time to test it and um, unfortunately, the board still doesn't quite power on. If we take a look at it through the thermal camera, we can see that the large chip here, this M-Star SOC for the monitor has definitely also blown when that MOSFET blew. So yeah, my guess is that the short circuit unfortunately didn't just stop after killing that MOSFET, but traveled all the way to that SOC and, you know, killed it, which is unfortunate. Thankfully though, we have the magic of editing and also the awesomeness of Taobao, meaning that about one to two weeks later, I managed to easily find a replacement motherboard and it only cost me about 10 US dollars. Only one thing left to do and that is to put the monitor back together. Right, so the monitor is uh, finally put back together, together with the stand and all, and holy cow, this thing really takes up the whole entire camera. But let's 
test it and see if it really works. And I'm gonna plug in the HDMI cable right here. Okay. Then the power cable right here. I'm gonna flip on the power and hey, hey, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The monitor is fully working once again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh no. Okay, I knocked something off the table, and because this thing is just huge, uh, these kinds of repairs just just. It just, it just bring me so much joy. It just make me really happy. I just really love uh, seeing stuff get fixed. That's why I do a lot of it on the channel. It is really what I'm passionate about. Um, reducing waste and just repairing and reusing stuff. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video, I think. Um, yes, if you liked it, uh, like the video, uh, if you've done anything like this before comment down below or if you would like to try it come on man 10 bucks 10 us dollars wouldn't you want to fix your monitor broken monitor for like 10 us dollars assuming that it's just a board <laughs> and uh yeah share share it and man i don't know what else i think that's pretty much it um <laughs> my name is yang the tech rodent and I, I sometimes feel like I get way too excited over uh, fixing stuff, but man, I, 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 I can't really describe that feeling. It's just, it just makes me so happy to see stuff working again. I know I'm repeating myself, but it just, that's just my joy. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video or review, probably re uh, video.